Hello everyone, and Keith May here for Hot Hardware, and it's finally time for Intel's Alder Lake launch. We all know what that means. Inboxes are full of reviews, and we'll have that covered over at HotHardware.com with all the speeds and feeds of the Intel Core i9-12900K and the Core i5-12600K for everyone wanting to sink their teeth into those tidbits. But here today, in this video, we're taking a look at the latest from Falcon Northwest with their Talon system that is all about Alder Lake loving. In fact, it literally screams Intel. Typically with these systems, you'll either go jet black or pick your favorite color. But here with this one, Falcon has partnered with Intel to let them have a custom design with Intel branding all about. And to be frank, it doesn't look half bad. The top of the case is void of ventilation, but has one of the largest Intel logos we've ever seen on a computer case. The front of the case is solid with a delightful Falcon logo that is backlit and RGB controllable for those not quite into the Intel Blue. The side panels are hinged on the rear and act like doors, making accessing the interior extremely simple. Extra care was taken with the assembly of the system with the stock power supply cables getting a nice upgrade thanks to custom sleeving. Overall, the case is compact, well laid out, and assembled with care. But we all know what makes a high-end gaming rig really tick, and it's not the case. The Talon we received comes packed with the Intel Core i9-12900K. That's Intel's latest 12th generation Alder Lake CPU built on their latest process node. And what makes the i9-12900K so interesting is the core structure where it's a 16-core CPU with 24 threads. It does this by including eight high-performance cores with hyper-threading and an additional eight smaller cores called their efficiency cores. Now paired up with the included custom 280mm AIO cooling unit, we saw the i9-12900K blaze past 5 GHz and reach a peak temperature of 90 degrees Celsius under Prime 95. Now under normal gaming loads, we never saw the CPU go past the 80 degrees Celsius mark, so overall, a much better showing than past Intel releases. The motherboard is quite high quality, and one of the things about systems like this that we really love is that they don't trend towards proprietary components. The choice here was the ASUS ROG HERO Z690, and it comes feature-packed with plenty of rear connectivity, including two Thunderbolt ports. Storage? Well, this bad boy has done storage well. You'll find no spinning rust here, but instead a single Seagate Fire CUDA 530 4TB NVMe Gen 4 drive delivering well over 6,000 megabytes per second sequential reads and write performance. With a 1000 watt Seasonic power supply, you'll know there's enough power to feed the last crucial part of the puzzle, the EVGA GeForce RTX 3090. We do want to pause here for a second and mention just how nice it is to see these companies connect the GPU with rear supports so that there's no sag to be had. And it's much safer for shipping. Now what about when it's time to shift pixels at high speed? What kind of performance are we talking about here? Well, overall, the Talon with the i9-12900K doesn't disappoint even with the system having been shipped with Windows 10 Pro. Now, Falcon Northwest informed us that this was intentional as they'll be shipping out the system based on what the buyer wants. So, we went ahead with testing on Windows 10. Maybe we'll revisit and see if Windows 11 makes a substantial impact. Kicking things off with Cinebench R20, we see a massive lead for this system on all fronts. A crazy single-core performance score of 763 points the fastest in the market right now. A multi-core score of 10,410 puts it on par with a Ryzen 9 5950X despite an 8-thread deficit, which is not a bad showing at all. The synthetics tests from 3D Mark TimeSpy show a total system improvement over the last two generations of Core i9 products, especially when compared to the Rocket Lake Core i9-11900K. 1440p Gaming showcases a decent lead over the previous Talon, seen with the averages in Middle Earth Shadow of War going up to 176 FPS over the previous generation's 161. 
Shadow of the Tomb Raider at 1440p with the highest settings shows a very similar story, but it's really the minimum frames that see the biggest impact, and it smooths out the gameplay even more. What about power? Well look, I know that this has likely been one of the big ones on everyone's mind going into this. Well, we're happy to report that in this system, we see a nice reduction of power from the previous generation Talon that had the 11th gen i9-11900K. A sizable reduction of 80 watts, and with the 12900K having double the cores, albeit they're doubled using the efficiency cores, but that reduction in a single generation is pretty impressive. At the end of the day, the Falcon Northwest Talon is a really nice system. Is it cheap? Look, don't count on it, because Falcon Northwest builds with quality above all in mind. And if you're in the market for them, then you likely already know that you're going to be paying a premium. But you're also going to be getting a premium product. At the time of recording this video, we still haven't gotten the full price for the system as it's configured, but we will put that one down in the description, and it'll be in the article review for the same system over on hothardware.com, if you're so inclined to read it. If you do, be sure to check out our full review of the Intel 12th Gen Alder Lake line of CPUs while you're there.